All right. Uh, hi, everyone, and welcome back to A Writing Guy. So this video is going to be a different sort of format, and I'm checking this website out. This is still a work in progress website, and from the loading screen, I think you can guess where this website is going from. I got sent this one by a uh, connection from the brand. Uh, this is still a uh, non-disclosed website, so if you are really interested, I can send you a few pictures, but no links for now. This is a preview for an upcoming release from Montblanc. And from the title, we can see that this is going to be the 2024 edition of Masters of Art. And this is going to be after Gustav Klimt. Now, I don't know who he is. Uh, I've never seen any kind of paintings or art made by this man. So we're going to look at it together. Okay, uh, From the artwork on the first page, we can see some Art Nouveau kind of motif. And it's really gold and luscious. Now, the Masters of Art collection is the uh, replacement so to say, for their Patron of Art series that ended in 2022 by the Victoria and uh, Edition. Uh, I can't remember the, the name correctly. It's the red and the blue, light blue edition. And last year, 2023, is the first release of the Masters of Art. Uh, the Vincent van Gogh series. If you want to take a look at it again, I can make a video for the Patreon folks. So comment down below. Yeah, from the introduction paragraphs and the artwork on the side, we see that this is going to be into the more luxurious and kind of exaggerated style. I feel like it's something along the lines of America in the late 19th century, early 20th century. Let's see how it goes. So, Gustav Klimt, yes, Art Nouveau. He's a uh, Austrian painter, uh, one artist whose vision helped shape Viennese Art Nouveau and the Golden Age by the end of the 19th century, yes. Uh, his reputation as a skilled colorist and representative of a new decorative aesthetics preceded him far beyond borders of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Okay, so kind of Austrian-German-ish kind of style. Uh, let's see what sort of painting he has done. The stuff clipped. Oh, okay. It's really gold. Gold tone heavy. Uh, we see a lot of colors. Very erotic. I don't think I can show this on YouTube. So you guys are the lucky one, okay? Um, the colors are very Picasso, kind of say. But the layout is not very abstract to the point of just impressionism um i don't really know what i'm talking about but i do like that his coloring is not too intense and it still has that bit of luxurious feel to it instead of just spamming uh indistinguished colors in into the canvas and he's pretty successful, I guess. All right, so famous quote, uh, to the times, it's art, to art, it's freedom. And going down below, we see a lot of motif going on. And so in the 
on the screen you guys can see now is the limited edition 4811010 so that th there would be 4810 of these and we can see there is a lot of gold and blue going on i do feel like they are really going for the texture on this one the clip looks really nice and the cap i feel like it's gonna be really heavy because of the metal part uh the hammer texture feels really similar to his uh painting i think it's and the fountain pen is very champagne gold as well as you can see it does remind me of a, a bottle of Johnny Walker blue label for some reason on the on the barrel you have some texture and the uh, initials G and K with his logo I guess yeah let's see where where this is going from so the designs highlight elements from his masterpieces palace and then and the kiss in its design uh the slightly curved lines three spirals on the forge metal frame yeah i do like this a lot and i like that they are incorporating the uh, hammer texture onto a barrel band as well uh next next we have another painting on the screen so this is the kiss and it's been made during the 1908-1909 on canvas the piston knob has the same texture hammer as well i'm not sure if it's plated metal or it's solid gold but i for the price of the usual 48110 editions i think it's metal plated and there is the green finial on the end as well oh that's nice yeah translucent dark blue lacquer on the cap so this is a lacquer pen inspired by a portrait of clem's muse emily fludge yeah, kind of similar to artists in that era. They paint pictures and paintings according to their lovers, I guess. So you have a monogram, a gold-colored tampon. All right, you have a gold-coated hammered cone set with synthetic green spinal. Okay, so this is a synthetic gemstone. And down below, we have the... Uh, Play Anthem. He really likes the metal color on his uh, his work, I guess. So we have an 18 karat gold nib with a, an owl, an owl motif on there with the usual hallmarks. I do not like the metal section, as the uh, the humidity from the ink and the moisture can start eating away at the plated metal but overall from the render this is a really nice looking pen <clears throat> all right so you have a uh, white and black top on the cap so we have 4,810 fountain pens and 4,800 roller balls worldwide. And down below, we have the uh, 888 limited edition. It's a more elaborate pen, we might say. Uh, we still have the similar motif, but this, the texture on the cap it's a lot more defined it's it's a really heavy cap you have an 18 karat gold nib with a different engraving some art deco 
Art Nouveau, no, Art Nouveau, sorry, elements to the design, and a really texture heavy body, a lot heavier. This is going to be like a brick. Okay, so where's this coming from? Uh, Klim's Beethoven Freeze in the Secession Building. Okay, so this is inspired by a uh, an artwork in the building. So you have the B thing going on here. Right, the two dimensions no lines inspired by the facade relief of the secession building shines again the math background okay this is platinum coated cap and barrel you have the monogram instead of a synthetic spinel we have green malachite set in a uh, spring so you have real malachite set on top of the piston knob okay yeah, this one is really heavy on the uh, texture. And you have a lot of different design elements slapped onto the nib. Uh, personally, this is going to be a really unique nib for your collection, but the design is really sporadic and we don't see these every day. And they did say that its design principle it's the effective proportion so the ratio of the cavern barrel fits that of the uh, golden ratio I do like the proportion but as a writing instrument I think this will really be a uh, heavy writer and not very suitable for long writing sessions but if you are spending this much money on a pen who would use it to write uh, it's going to be sitting on a uh, glass display case. And uh, it's a really unique one, I would say. And finally, we're going to look at the uh, last of... Oh, not the last. We have the uh, limited 161 edition. This is more on the red gold tone kind of vibe. We have um, the similar silhouette with a, a textured cap. I think it's still platinum plated. But this time we have some red gold plating and finishing. We have some gold dust thing going on. And a really distinctive gemstone thing going on on the piston knob. So this is hand engraved from their picture. And we see a real face on the cap. Yeah, that's really impressive. So the ornament is from Stirring Silver. So this will have a lot of patina and uh, Mobla hasn't been very a f much a fan of patina metal, but I think this would look good. So the emblem is in a mother pearl with uh, 18 karat gold rose gold setting crown. The design is still on Athena painting and we have some forged metal frame on the design. Uh, we have some more photos of the stocklet frieze. It's kind of like a tree with some mythology vibe going on this is what you would see in art museums i would say and on the <clears throat> the barrel we have some lacquer we have some gold dust painted onto it with red gold g and k stamp on it okay so we have urushi lacquer on the barrel more cabochon but this time, instead of Malachi, we have Green Aventurin. 
So they're upping the game in terms of gemstone setting. Okay. And on the nib, we have some... I think this is hand engraved. And there is the year 2024 on the nib. But to be honest, I do like the blue and yellow yellow gold combination more than the uh, red and red gold thing going on. It's it's more feminine on this one and it doesn't really show the vibe of the pen. And finally we are going to be looking at the not the final one. Okay. Uh we are going to look at the limited edition ninety seven. So you're going to into more elaborate showpiece territory. With this one, you have, let's see, uh, 18 carat barrel and cap. So this time full gold, uh, partly sterling silver. I think the sterling silver is going to be the clip. And cast and decorated with 3D models. So they're applying the casted pieces onto the solid gold parts. All right, more Athena painting. The emblem is white agate. It's not pearl anymore. It's real gemstone this time. All right, and when we have uh, cut diamonds on the clip so this part right here three diamonds on each of the circles on the clip so this is more novelty art pieces other than writing instruments and on the piston knob we have black and white stripe so we have gemstone white agate and black onyx in the pattern looks like a checker flag and on the finial on the end we have green chrysoprase set in the cone okay they're going back to the owl motif on the nib this time i i think this looks better it's more elaborated uh, they don't have the limited edition number on the pen. I'm not sure where they are engraving it. But yeah, it's good. So limited to 97 pieces in honor of the year of the uh, Vienna Secession, 1897. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I do like the section of this one as it's more grippy. But of course, at the price and the limited edition of the pen I don't think people are going to start writing with it and last but not least wow limited edition eight so there are only eight of these around the world and we can see a lot of different elements decorating the pen this is a showpiece guys I like it <laughs> Um, but as a practical writing thing, I don't think people are going to take this outside of their house. So from the looks of it, uh, let's start with the Mont Blanc logo. It's diamond set, of course, solid gold at this price and uh, limited edition number. And more diamonds in the clip, some lacquered coloring and stones on the cap. We have some lacquer painting. We have some gemstone set and then another diamond on the on the this is a bit too much, but it's a real eye catcher. I think you would agree with me. So we have white marble underlay on the cabin barrel. We have gold skeleton decorated. We have mother of pearl, we have black onyx and jade inlaid. So oh okay, so no painting. Purely gemstone inlay so this is kind of like a christmas tree <laughs> okay um the three black horus falcon okay so the bird on the cap is 
made of black onyx, hand engraved with a red ruby for the eye, and it sits perfectly in, right in the middle. We have a gold coated clip, and on the preview material, we also see some of the pictures of the uh, painting and working process. So each of the grooves and texture thing is hand engraved. So this is more on a uh, art piece for those that like to collect Mont Blanc. And we can see some of the uh, and we can see some of the uh, green jade and lace in and oh some parts of the barrel. And on the other end of the barrel, we have more skeletonized parts with marble inlaid. And the piston knob is, it does remind me of Thanos' goblet. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? It's really artsy, really intricate with different textures on each of the squares. And we have gemstone sets into it. So hand engrave everything. Really delicate work. All right, so green chrome aventurin. So really cool. And we have a diamond in the uh, breather hole. More decorative pieces with silver plating. Wow, what do you guys think? Yeah, this looks really good. All right, and that's about it. So what do you guys think of the uh, this year's Masters of Art Limited Edition? Uh, on the preview material, we don't have the list price for each of the pieces. But let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? And which one would you like to buy if money is no problem? Okay, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.